Can as regular listeners will know, there are a few words in English finer than tonight, a new session from the fall. And that's what we've got for you. We think it's the 24th, but we're not absolutely certain about it. Uh, before I play you the first track, an email from uh, Chris Goodhead, the first of the night, john.plbbc.co.uk, text messages A1199. Uh, Chris has a quick message to say that I've had a bloody awful week so far. Nevertheless, I'm still excited at the prospect of another mighty fall session. I've been to a couple of recent shows, and they've got a really good song that mentions Harold Shipman. They've been playing Walk Like a Man, their old bass player is now the guitarist it's all business as usual really chaos but good chaos uh, my wife my week isn't really likely to improve greatly either but this fall session will provide some enjoyable relief from an otherwise quite upsetting time sorry for being such a misery well i'm sorry you're feeling so depressed chris i hope hopefully this will brighten up your evening for you a bit from the fall class pans <laughs>
Well, that'll certainly do it for me. And after that, you're probably thinking, why only 24 sessions? Uh, that's the four. More to come, obviously, later in the programme. That's called Class Pans. Oh! A valuable addition to the summer human knowledge. That's uh, Steve Liss from an EP called uh, The Home, and I think I gave you an address last week when we broadcast this session from which you can obtain these records. Uh, Not is the title of that. And some emails before I play the next tune from the fall. Uh, One from Ben. It says, hello, I love the Pig 78s. My valve player has a perished wheel. No any menders of old record players. More fall, please, for Mike and Mark. Well, Ben, uh, I don't actually myself know any menders of old record players, but I know a man who will do, and I'll get in touch with him and pass the information on to you. And this uh, email says, uh, text message rather, says, big shout out to Spence, who's playing drums with the fall tonight, from Beatbox Dave, Jane, Becky and Haggis. And, uh, hold on, there's more. Uh, this could be the same people, actually. It says, uh, play a fall track for Mike and Froome and Ben in London, us old saddos, and to all the young fall fans, big up. And Spencer is a top fall drummer. And uh, what's this one? So looking forward to the new session from the fall tonight, says Neil Saddington. And uh, Bobby says, I'm really, Bobby Cook, this is, says, I'm really looking forward to the fall session. This will be one of the few times I've heard them, but hearing the track last night has made me want to go out and buy, made me want to go out and buy a CD of theirs. Can you suggest which is the best to start on? Well, this is a question I seem to be getting asked more and more and more, and the more I answer it, the more I get asked it. And uh, the only answer is, actually, frankly, is uh, that you need to have the whole lot. I realise this isn't entirely practical, because there are a great many, but uh, just buy whichever one comes to hand and continue to buy them all, uh, continue to buy them till you've got the whole lot. Uh, you heard a, a taster of this earlier on. It'll be slightly louder now, I think, actually. The fall and blindness. I've done it again.
cavalry. To be realistic, you barely need anything else, do you? That's the fall and blindness. Two more from them before the end of the programme. The 24th session for the programme, as far as we know. Uh, the very first of them was recorded at Maida Vale on the 30th of whichever the fifth month is, in 1978, and broadcast a month later, well, about two weeks later. The band have recorded sessions for the programme pretty much every year. The session's been 82, 89, 97. Not quite sure how that happened. And then for some reason there were no more sessions after 98 until uh, 2003. John, can you tell us why this was, it says here. Uh, break down in communications, I think probably the best reason I can give you. There have been, as you know, many different members of the fall. For this session, Marky e. Smith was joined by Ben Pritchard on guitar, Jim Watts on bass and guitar, Stephen, Stra- uh, Stephen Trafford, can't even bring myself to say the word, on bass, uh, Eleanor Smith on keyboards, uh, Spencer Birtwistle on drums, and Ed Blaney on guitar and vocals. And for a complete who's who guide to past and present members of the fall, you can log on to www.vizzy.com uh, slash fall. That's V-I-S-I dash, no, www www.vizzy.com slash fall try it right Kenneth Johnston I think that may be the first time in the history of this programme that I've played a record called Too Much and not followed it with Jimmy Reed's song Too Much. That's Prince Poe on Lex Records. The LP is called The Slickness. And uh, what else can I tell you? That's all you need to know, I think. Right, uh, this is... Uh uh, an email, or part of a, a text message rather, from uh, John in Canuck, saying the, fre- the fall are as fresh now as when I first heard them back in the early 80s. They are still the business. And uh, this one says, when are you next having a live techno set? And who's it going to be? This is Frank from Wales. And can you say happy birthday to Danielle? Because should that be Danielle, do you think? My missus, anyway. Uh, Jeff Mills and Lauren Garnier will be doing something for us uh, next month live at Maida Vale, uh, Frank. So uh, something for you to look forward to there. Uh, but tonight, of course, is a night for the fall and this is What About Us
tempted to say that this is possibly the best fall session that we've ever had, but I'd probably say that about all of them. Uh, that was called What About Us, not the uh, coaster song that I played you in last night's programme. Uh, one more to come, obviously, and uh, an email here from uh, Ted Chippington, the legendary Ted Chippington, saying, can you please dedicate in the style of DLT? Uh, I suspect most of today's young listeners won't know who DLT uh, is or was, and I couldn't do it anyway, uh, but can you dedicate one of the fall tracks to my children, Tyrone and Eugene, says uh, Ted, as they're a big as fan as I am and uh, nice to hear from you Ted and uh, that was for you Tyrone and Eugene the fall and what about us this is knife hand chop oh my son go on and understand them so I treat you like a back of function This is Simon Keep, a.k.a. Holcomb. Not all of the track, I'm afraid, because we're running out of time, but I will come back to it again. Uh, it's on Expanding Records. The track's called The Conversation. An email here from Sean Cordell, and it reads in part, My youth can be tracked through the development of the fall. A good way to spend your life, I think, Sean. And here's the last from the fall for tonight.
Well, this has been just magnificent, I think, and uh, thanks, Mark, and the rest of you for making an old man very happy. Two tunes from the fall, wrong place, and uh, the moves, I can hear the grass grow. And thanks to all of the people who sent us emails and text messages about the fall and other stuff in the programme, but mainly about the fall, especially uh, Chris in Chicago and uh, Joe in Athens, Georgia. But we're glad to have uh, emails and uh, text messages from uh, all of you and uh, everyone. Uh, what else can I say? I'll just play the last record. <laughs> this is uh, Milanese. <laughs> Seven inch reissue on Gorgon Records, uh, Gorgon spelled with an A for some unaccountable reason, and uh, Don't Try to Use Me is the title of it. Now, uh, as I mentioned, it was my birthday over the weekend, and uh, got loads and loads of uh, extraordinary presents, you know, from family and friends and so forth, and I was enormously grateful for all of those as well. One of the very best of them, though, I have to admit, was uh, uh, an assemblage uh, put together by Louise, Hamid, and Mark from this programme, and uh, lots of kind of greetings cards that they'd uh, got from various bands that had done sessions for them. For the programme and from people who work here at Radio 1 and uh, put them all in a scrapbook and things. And in the very front of the scrapbook was uh, an acetate with a couple of tracks on it which will be available only on this acetate. Am I right in saying that? (laughs) And therefore available really only to me, actually, when it comes right down to it. And uh, see if you can guess which two bands are featured on this acetate. I'm going to play you one of the tracks now and it shouldn't take you too long, I think, to work out who this is.
and job search is the title of it, the fall, of course, and uh, if you want to hear that again, you'll have to come round to my house. That's probably a rather reckless thing to say. <laughs> Forget I said that. But uh, that part of my birthday present, and my thanks to Louise for meet and uh, Mark, and of course uh, to the band as well for uh, sorting that out. Amazing. And I'll play the other side of that, uh, possibly later in the programme if I don't talk too much. But now it's that mix from uh, Darren Stars, and it says here... <coughs> Encouraged from an early age by his father, Darren has always had a passion for music. He began DJing after his first rave experience in Essex and he hasn't stopped since.